around us in our environment we are always in situation of exhibition to significant quantities of electromagnetic waves in fact electromagnetism is present everywhere and most of the phenomena of the telecommunication are based on the propagation of electromagnetic energy what what do we mean by electromagnetic wave? EM waves are waves created as a result of vibrations between an electric field and a magnetic field. EM waves consist of two waves oscillating perpendicular to one another. They can travel through anything such as air, solid material, and even vacuum that mechanical waves cannot travel through. All EM waves have the same speed and vacuum. As we all know, a wave has a trough and a crest. The amplitude of a wave is the height from equilibrium point to the highest point of a crest. Wavelength is the distance between identical points on circuit of waves. Ernst Heinrich was a German physicist. He provided the deductive evidence of the existence of EM waves when he was 30. He made an electric spark jump from one terminal to another and noticed a second spark at the same time between two terminals a couple of yards away. So what he noticed was a different kind of EM waves that eventually came to know as Hertzian waves. Guglielmo Marconi was an Italian scientist. He built on Hertz's discovery and created the first radio transmitter. Hertzian waves are now called radio waves and are used every day from listening to music to watch on TV. Light waves and other types of energy that radiate from where they are produced are called electromagnetic radiation. They make up what's known as electromagnetic spectrum. Radio waves have the longest wavelengths used for long-distance communication. Microwaves are type of EM waves used to cook food, protect the weather and used for communications. When we feel warm by the sunlight, the energy we feel is infrared radiation from the sun. They are used on TV remote control. The light you can actually see is visible light. It's just a tiny slice in the middle of the spectrum. The sun transmits power for UV radiation that causes sunburn or summer tents. X-rays are used to take pictures of bones in medicine, they have the most energy and they are able to pass through any object. Gamma rays have the shortest wavelengths and the highest to call cancer cells, they are the most harmful radiation. Gamma rays and gamma rays have high frequency, which means they carry a lot of energy, so they cause damage to living cells. They can damage your skin or the DNA inside your cells. This can cause the damaged skin cells to grow very quickly, which can lead to a cancer. The fact is that we are bombarded by numerous technological devices in use today, but we don't really know enough about their impact on the human body. This is the perfect reason for us to take extra precautions, especially with cell phones, tablets, and wires.